Hey guys, this is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about uh, what if your DTF printer doesn't print at all. I mean, you send the printer to the printer, it just doesn't respond. And uh, both powers in the front and uh, at the back, both power on. And there's no error code. First, we need to delete any remaining print jobs from your computer. Go to your computer's uh, printer and devices. Find the DTF printer. And you can see this printer is offline. And uh, so you need uh, to check your USB cable, make sure USB cable is plugged in correctly. Now we're going to check the print queue. Uh, here you can see the print queue is empty. If it's not empty, just right click on the job and uh, right click it give you a new menu. On the menu, say cancel job. After that, uh, restart your computer and restart your printer. To shut down the printer, shut down the front one first. Wait a few seconds until the light in the front is out. Then shut down the power in the back. To start the printer, do the opposite. Turn the back of the printer on first. And wait at least 30 seconds until the printer is stabilized. Then turn the front on. And here you should see a solid green. Uh, if you see the yellow lights flashing, most likely your ink, uh, with ink is full. Anyway, so you, you, you need to do a little tr troubleshooting. Another thing is, uh, if you didn't do the first step to cancel the jobs from the computer, uh, your printer may still be driven by the old documents, and uh, that's, uh, that, that's where you also may get error. Now the starting is finished, and we get a solid green. So our printer is online and solid green. Now we need to check the, uh, the RIP software. Uh, depends on your version, and uh, you cannot put uh, the white ink into 0%. If you put it in the 0%, the, uh, it still sends the document to the printer. The printer just doesn't print. You should do a test and see if this happens to your version of the RIP software. Uh, next thing to check is to make sure your color mapping is right. Uh, for me, the two white ink is in the middle. If you get the mapping wrong, it's going to create a lot of confusion. Next, we're going to check on the printer. And you're going to see uh, I got a 1800 printer, but I'm selecting the 28S driver. My RIP software actually is, uh, supports uh, L1800. However, I find uh, for 1800, if you use a 280 uh, settings, is much better in color, and I don't know why, and uh, you, you might want to try it out. Next, we make sure the port is select, uh, selected correctly, and otherwise you're going to send your print job to another printer, uh, which doesn't print on this one. Spooler, I said to start printing immediately. You can select the other one. I don't think it matters. Uh, for other settings, you can just refer whatever I have here. Uh, it's not optimal. For example, you can disable the bi-direction, make it slower. Um, I, uh, but th this video will just show you what happens if it doesn't print. And now, what's the best setting? So I set the uh, white ink to be 10%. You can see it can print even you set it to 10%, but not zero. If I submit, I'm going to get an error message uh, because I'm a printing R2280 on a L1800 printer, and uh, which is uh, intentional. Uh, so just click OK, and uh, it starts spooling. And at the end, your printer will start working again. OK, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.